We are going to be doing now an MCU movie tier list now. After all that. This, 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 this almost dropped on my fucking foot. This almost dropped. This is a knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. And I accidentally hit it off my... Um, let me put this away. We are now going to be doing a tier list of all the MCU movies. It's not going to take as long as like... This freaking anime ones, thank god, because those I had to deal with a lot of characters with those ones. Starting off with kind of what our categories are, we have Internet Breaker, Fan Fucking Tastic, Mid, Disappointment, and Absolute Flop. So kind of self-explanatory. Starting off with Iron Man. I mean you can't I wouldn't put an internet breaker, but you can't start the full MCU without having one show that started all which was not show movie that started at all which is iron man so it has to be in that fan fucking tastic area um again we're gonna categorize everything when we're done with the actual category <laughs> the hulk i honestly forget the edward norton version of hulk i honestly forgot how it goes i know it wasn't as bad as some of the other ones that i can't say it's a disappointment or an absolute flop the starting like Marvel movies were good in like their like in their respected area because they came out so late and you did say not so late, so early on where CGI wasn't that huge. That's why like Avatar, the first Avatar, was so big because the CGI was fantastic with there being not like much development with CGI at the time. That I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna put Hulk in mid there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the Hulk in mid. Iron Man two I. That one, I'm definitely gonna go mid. I'm gonna put it mid. It's definitely over Hulk, though. It's definitely over Hulk. Thor 1. Thor and Hulk definitely had much darker toned vibes within the first couple movies. I think I'll have to put it in mid as well. Cause I don't, I think it might be better than Iron Man 2. I'm trying to think. Yeah, you know, I, I I think it's better than Iron Man 2. I don't think it's in fan fucking tastic. I think it's in that mid category where it's just a it's above Iron Man 2. Yeah. Captain America. I think all the cat I think out of the original six, I think the Captain America series was definitely the best series not series. Trilogy was definitely the best trilogy. I think out of like trilogies, definitely Spider-Man's trilogy has been amazing within the MCU. But we're gonna place Captain America. I want say i'm gonna put captain america underneath iron man i'm gonna keep iron man above captain america avengers the original one the original ones where they brought all the movies they, they prepared to one movie which is something i think that was the first time they did that in like a movie series right i want to i want to say the avengers the first avengers was an internet breaker i definitely want yeah i i, I, I want to say the first avengers was an internet breaker iron man 3 i would still st put it in that mid category. I do think it's better than Hulk. Um, again, but I, that's again, because I don't remember too much of the Hulk. So we'll put it in the mid just above Hulk. Thor, the dark world. Uh, Thor, the dark world really, it really disappointed me. I wouldn't say it was an absolute flop. I thought there were some good parts in it, but I think it was a disappointment there. Captain America Winter Soldier. Okay, this one definitely, it's not in that internet breaker category. It's still not there, but it's definitely at the top of fan fucking tastic. Guardians of the Galaxy, that's also a fan fucking tastic movie. I would put that, I think I enjoy, I think because I'm more of that, I like like that spy action type movies. I, I'm gonna put Captain America Winter Soldier above, yeah. Uh, no, 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 what am I saying? Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, I don't think it's mid. I really don't think it's mid. Um, I think it was still a pretty good movie. It was definitely the most lackluster out of all the Avengers movies. I, I would put it, with all its moments, I do think it is better than the second Iron Man, but I don't think it's better than Thor. Yeah? Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll put it between Thor and Iron Man 2 there. I don't think it's mid. Are you sure about that? I, I don't expect the solo films to do better than the bigger films if that makes any sense because at the same time you get, i think you get a bigger budget with that with those ones too ant-man it's another one of those funny ones it's definitely in the mid category i think it is better developed than iron man 2 with scott lang and like cassie and all that would i rank it above age of ultron i think i think i enjoyed it ant-man more than age of ultron yeah you know what 
I'm gonna put it above Thor. I'm gonna put Ant-Man above Thor. I think Ant-Man was also, it's different from Thor, but I wanna say I enjoyed Ant-Man more than Thor. It's definitely not in that fan fucking tastic like section there. Captain America Civil War, that was an internet breaker. This one was definitely better. I think this here broke the internet more than the Avengers there, especially the, um, the introduction of T'Challa and also the airport scenes and Spider-Man too. I forgot Spider-Man shows up, but yeah. Captain America Civil War is definitely an internet breaker on that one there. Doctor Strange, another fan fucking task movie. This is where you start seeing Marvel kind of bring their quality up. I don't think it's above Winter Soldier, um, but I think it is definitely above Iron Man there. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, good movie. Again, I think James Gunn does a really good job with the Guardians of the Galaxies. I will put that above um, Doctor Strange. We'll put it between Doctor Strange and uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Spider-Man Homecoming, another fan fucking task movie. Like a lot of phase three, phase three. Yeah, phase three was amazing. I love phase three. Spider-Man Homecoming, fan fucking tastic movie. Uh, great introduction with Vulcan and kind of, Vulture, Vulcan. What is this, a CSGO skin? I would put that above. I, I enjoyed Spider-Man Homecoming a lot. Yeah. We'll put that above Guardians of the Galaxy there. Thor Ragnarok, another fan fucking tastic movie. This is where you kind of see Thor's kind of difference change within the Marvel Universe. But sadly, that this movie then sets Marvel up for catastrophe towards phase four there. Like trying to put too much jokes in. But I do think it's a fan fucking tastic movie. I did enjoy it way more than uh, Spider-Man uh homecoming there black panther what what can i say it's an internet breaker it's i don't think it's as big as civil war i do think black panther did have a huge change within the mcu i did really enjoy it this is more again me basing off of like an outside plus my point of view if i was gonna just rank my point of view there'd be different there there would be way different like situations there i don't know if that's what i should be doing at all but that's how i've been doing all my tier lists is really that way everyone can kind of agree with like kind of uh, respectfully agree with what i do within the tier list Ooh, but would i put it in no actually never mind it goes underneath avengers it's avengers infinity war come on so much build up so much. i i love the i love the shows that can kill people off without being scared uh avengers infinity war is definitely again internet breaker ant-man and the wasp again ant-man's like it's not one of those movies that can be fantastic so it's in that mid category i don't even think it was better than the first one i i really enjoyed the first one a lot i do like the twist at the end where they kind of show hank like setting up for endgame but i'm gonna put it before thor thor underneath the first one there captain marvel disappointment i expected a lot more from captain marvel because kevin feige was also mentioning oh how she's gonna be the like big reason endgame a big factor in endgame the bitch got punched by a power stone and never showed up again avengers endgame personally 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 for me i do think avengers endgame is better than infinity war a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that one i know that because everyone says infinity war is better than endgame i personally preferred endgame a lot more spider-man far from home Fan fucking tastic movie. Um, I don't think it beats Homecoming. It is very hard for uh, the second rendition of the original come out and do better. It's normally like the third one does best, the second one does the worst, and the first one's like the first starter off. So uh, I would say Spider-Man Far From Home is definitely below Homecoming. Actually, I put it. I put it there. I'll put it there. Um, cause I think I enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy and Captain America a little bit better. Ooh, but I'm looking at Gal- I definitely- Ooh. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. It, should, it went from here all the way down there. WandaVision. I'm gonna put that mid. I don't think any of these shows go into that fan- Actually, no. I lied. We'll get to that one later. But WandaVision had so much going for it. And they were setting themselves up perfectly for so much stuff. I kind of threw it all away immediately and that's my problem with it is that they had so much stuff going for them and they kind of threw it away between avengers ultron and iron man 2 actually you know what put it between iron man the falcon and the winter soldier a lot of people didn't like this one i actually really enjoyed this one um you see the fight be like the internal battles between bucky was definitely one of the better shows it wasn't the best 
but I do think it was better than WandaVision, even though a lot of people think that a lot of people didn't like it. I did. I actually enjoyed a lot of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I put between Age of Ultron and um, Iron Man 2. Loki, however, Loki threw me like out of the like it threw me fucking I, I don't even know the words. I I was shocked, like absolutely shocked from what Loki did with their show. I've never been a huge fan of Loki either. I'm gonna put Loki in that fan fucking tastic area. I do think it is better than these movies here. I don't think it's better than the ones up here though. Black Widow. Oh, that's gonna be our first absolute flop of the fucking day today. This movie, they ruined Taskmaster. Master. I absolutely hated what they did with Taskmaster and everything like that. It was so bland with trying to make jokes and everything. Yelena, I love. I think she's amazing. But dude, these the CGI in this, I, I hated. We're putting an absolute flop there. Uh, the What If series, never watched it. So I'm gonna put that in absolute flop because I never watched it because I really have nothing to say to it and that's what I'm just gonna say. Shang-Chi, this one, another twist. This was another twist that I never expected to happen there. Um, I think this was fan-fucking-tastic. I do think this was fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, I would put this above Doctor Strange, actually. But I really enjoyed it, and I got... I don't know why, from the dad, I got a lot of Obito vibes. Like, if you guys watched Naruto, I got that whole Obito vibe with, like, the dad trying to, like, bring back the mom. Kind of like what Obito was trying to do with Rin and everything like that. And then they have their, like their um reminition what what's the word repetition reminition bro bro whoa i can't think of the word right now redemption <laughs> i put r and then i it came to my head the dad had his redemption and it kind of reminded me of obito with the naruto and that kind of that kind of i i think kind of made it kind of step up a little bit because it reminded me of what the shows i normally watch which is anime eternals absolute flop they literally had rob stark and john snow in there and freaking angelina jolie they had like a pretty fucking solid cast i didn't like the i i think it was terrible i thought it was terrible i it wasn't even like disappointing it was terrible hawkeye i definitely want to say it was in that mid area i don't think a lot like more of the shows there's not much that i thought was would be in that disappointment besides one i do think they're all lied in that mid area again i did enjoy this one i would put it between iron man 2 and wandavision i did like it a little bit more than wandavision just because the pacing i felt was be better and then we have spider-man no way home a part of me thinks like some people are gonna place it above endgame and i don't blame them they brought back tom holland not wait they brought back toby mcguire and andrew garfield and a bunch of the old spider-man cast like cast members and everything like that there and then plus the whole pete losing may everything like that there it was definitely so different it was so different honestly i think it was the best marvel movie they made and it didn't have as much hype compared to Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War, but I feel like that's why Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War didn't do as well is because they had so much hype. But I definitely do think how it, every that was like a perfection movie. It was their best movie by far throughout the MCU. And I feel like a lot of people agree with me on that one. And this is where everything goes downhill. Moon Knight, mid show. I thought it's better than WandaVision. Don't think it was better than Hawkeye. I feel like a lot of people are going to judge me on that one. But it ended awful. It did end awful. They just do an awful job with their endings. But I'm going to put Moon Knight between Hawkeye and WandaVision there. <sighs> Doctor Strange. This is one of those movies where it's like it has so much hype to it. And they just absolutely ruin it. They absolutely ruin it. I, I'm putting it this in disappointment. Like, I, this isn't even mid, this is at disappointment. Because you had so much, you had so much going for you for this movie. You, you're you introducing multiverses, everything like that there. You give us John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, everything like that there. And then you make the movie about 
more Wanda than Stephen Strange. Stephen Strange's whole thing was just, I never get the love of my life. That's it. That's really it. It's a disappointment. I wouldn't say it's a flop, but it was definitely the biggest disappointment I've ever had for a Marvel movie there. I expected so much from it. I expected so much. Miss Marvel, absolute flop. I remember not even watching this. I saw the first episode, like I hear first episode, awful reviews, and I just hear it get worse and worse. Absolute flop. Thor Love and Thunder. Okay, this one I expected what was going to happen. Like, I, I literally expected this to happen because they still had Taika Waititi as the director. I knew they weren't going to take it serious enough. It was a good movie. Could have been a great movie if they just took it more serious. I don't think it's disappointment because I expected that to happen. A lot of people are going to say it's disappointment, but I expected that to happen there that I'm not going to put it in disappointment. I still do think it is better than Iron Man 2 and all that, that I'm a put it in Falcon Winter Soldier and uh, Underneath Age of Ultron. I do, I feel like that one's gonna piss off a lot of people. It wasn't like Doctor Strange where like, they had so much stuff going, but they created where it wasn't a good movie though. I'm Groot, I've never watched this. I actually have never seen this. I feel like it's more a comedy that can't be flop or disappointment. It's kind of what you expect. I'm gonna put it above the Hulk. When I think about it, I think the Hulk should be dropped down here. She-Hulk, I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even want to know. I saw I saw one clip of her complaining about how Steve Rogers dies a virgin and another clip of her fucking twerking with Megan the Stallion. I this is what I mean that Thor Ragnarok kind of ruined all the Marvel movies after that because they took stuff way too jokingly. Like they didn't take it serious enough. I'm gonna put it in absolute flop. Werewolf haven't seen it, I'm gonna put it in absolute flop as well. Wakanda Forever. Would have put this in fan fight fan fucking tastic movie i'm gonna get hate for that i do like the aspects of they're really focusing a lot on chadwick boseman's death and kind of creating that whole new twist everything like that I, it's at the top of mid i don't think it's in a fan fucking tastic category like there's it's not like it was nothing wrong with it i think it was just a little bit weird uh hearing natisha writes i think that's her the actress's name or shuri's uh saying a lot of those lines you hear from Chadwick Boseman like when she was doing the Ebo Beck and the Wakanda Forever it felt different it felt a lot different those felt like cheers and like chants when Chadwick Boseman did it within Infinity War and Endgame they said it like actual battle cries and I think that's why that really like those just did not sound right and I think it's because I'm so used to hearing Chad Boseman, and I think it just doesn't, I think that's why Wakanda Forever doesn't do that great, was because it's just something, you're just not used to it. That's why it's going to be at the top of mid. It wasn't a terrible movie, it was just, something just didn't sit right with me when I was watching it. And then Guardians of the Galaxy, the holiday one, I just finished that one. That was actually pretty funny. Um, it's going to be mid. Yeah, I think it resides around that Groot area. Since I haven't watched uh, I Am Groot, I'm going to put it above it. Uh, but yeah, that is... Oh, wait, no, we have to go through the categories. I think this... Actually, I'm going to drop Black Panther and Fan Fantastic. Yeah, I like this. I, I kind of like having these top sections having less, er like, areas. I Yeah. Internet Breakers here. Fan Fantastic. I feel like it's this section that can really just change around. Like... This section can be the area that people can like mess with a lot there. Mid, I'm gonna bring Moon Knight up. I'm gonna bring Moon Knight up because I totally forgot the whole Steven Spector and who was the other, how they were kind of having a mental battle with um, the brother's death, I think it, how it was, and then the mom's beating. I like that, I like disappointment, and I like absolute flop. Yeah, well, that is it for MCU tier list here. Um, YouTube, if you did enjoy, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Everything like that. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday on a reaction video. <laughs>